With 2023 on the horizon, there are new energy efficiency standards and new metrics for residential air conditioning and heat pumps that are set to take effect across the United States beginning on January 1, 2023. Allied Air is ready to help you win the transition and beyond. Let's jump into three essential things to keep in mind as you and your business get prepared. Shifts in both national and regional energy efficiency requirements, specific regional requirements for compliance, and updated test procedures and metrics. First, let's take a look at efficiency standards, what's happening and why. The U.S. government periodically evaluates energy efficiency levels, available technologies, and the economic impact of changing standards. In our case, the U.S. Department of Energy determined that the changes to the test procedure to better represent an average use cycle were warranted, and higher standard levels were technologically feasible and economically justified. Because of this, there will be new regional efficiency requirements for air conditioners and new national requirements for heat pumps. The new regional minimum efficiency requirements for central air conditioners vary, depending upon which region you're working in. The United States is broken into three regions, the North, Southeast, and Southwest. Let's check out the changes and requirements for each region. In the north, we will see air conditioner efficiencies increase one sear point from 13 to 14 sear. In the southeast, air conditioners 3.5 tons or less will have a one point increase from 14 to 15 sear. Air conditioners greater than 3.5 tons will increase a half a point from 14 to 14.5 sear. The southwest is similar to the southeast increasing one point from 14 to 15 sear for air conditioners 3.5 tons or less and a half a point for units greater than 3.5 tons. Switching gears to central heat pumps. The new sear and HSPF requirements have a single national standard for all regions. Next, let's talk about installation deadlines for products that don't meet the new standards. There are some important differences between product types and regions. In the Southeast and Southwest regions, air conditioner units manufactured prior to 2023 with ratings below the new minimums may not be installed after December 31, 2022. In the North, a unit manufactured prior to December 31, 2022 can still be installed indefinitely. Because heat pump efficiency levels fall under a national standard, Heat pumps manufactured in 2022 can still be installed beyond January 1, 2023 in all regions. Now let's look at the testing procedures for efficiency ratings, which become more stringent in 2023. Previous testing standards simulated resistance from ductwork are being updated to represent real-world applications. The update to the testing procedure requires an increase in the external static pressure to better simulate installation conditions. So far, we have been speaking in terms of SEER, EER, and HSPF to clarify the efficiency increases coming in 2023. Because we will be testing equipment differently, the performance metrics will be updated. SEER 2, EER 2, and HSPF 2 will be the new metrics in 2023. First, let's look at the new SEER 2 versus the outgoing SEER rating in practice. Efficiency ratings will appear lower by numeric value, but the actual performance of the system is unchanged. 15 SEER becomes 14.3 SEER 2, and 8.8 .8 HSPF becomes 7.5 HSPF 2. What does this mean? The new regulations require that 100% of the AHRI matches be retested and relaunched. As 2023 approaches, we're here to guide you through the transition at every step of the way. 